And the United States will experience its first total eclipse in nearly four decades next month. As WTIU's James Vavrick reports, preparations for the eclipse are already well underway. This is what you look like with the glasses on. They call them eclipse glasses. This is what you will look like that day. There's only two manufacturers that make these. They're, they can't make 300 million of these. So the demand is going to be insane. Dan McClon helps distribute these glasses, which are important for eclipse enthusiasts like himself. He's the creator of Eclipse2017.org, a website dedicated to information about the upcoming total eclipse. It gives people access to a list of eclipse-related events planned in their communities. This eclipse belongs to the United States. That's the only place, the only country that the totality will touch land. And it doesn't really go over a lot of big cities. But this eclipse belongs not only to America, but to the, all the small communities, where people are going to come from all over the world, literally, to come to Beatrice, Nebraska, or Casper, Wyoming, and to see one of the most amazing things that they'll see in their life. These glasses aren't like your normal pair of sunglasses. They contain a special film in the lens that's so dark you can't see much of really anything. But they allow just enough ultraviolet light through them so that you can directly look at the sun safely while enjoying an eclipse. The Carmel Library will be giving 1,000 of the glasses away for free at an event leading up to the eclipse. Earlier this summer, workers from the Link Observatory hosted an event at the library and explained what people can expect in August. Now hopefully it's not cloudy or rainy. If it is, get in your car and find some place it's not, because this is a big deal. Everyone in the United States will be able to experience the eclipse, but only those in what's called the Path of Totality will see the moon completely cover the sun. That path starts in Oregon and travels all the way to South Carolina. During totality, if you look at the sun, it looks like Somebody took the most beautiful purplish, bluish, deep twilight velvet sky, just put a couple of stars here, cut an impossibly black hole, and smeared cotton candy halfway across the sky and just shimmers. While Indiana isn't in the path of totality, Hoosiers will be able to see the moon cover about 90% of the sun. For Indiana News Desk, I'm James Vavrick.